Mr. Nayeri, I wonder if to begin this program, you would give us just a quick sketch of your country and the character of its people. Well, perhaps the quickest I can give my country is to say, this I have learned from this country, it is roughly the size of Texas. It has um, <laughs> nine million people. Of these nine million people, we have the indigenous tribes, 120 of them. Then we have the newer tribes, some from Europe, some from East Arabs, and uh, the Indians, and the Pakistanis, Greeks, Englishmen, Germans, Italians, and all this. And it's these people whom we are trying to weld in a nation, and it's among these people that I have organized the Tanganyika African National Union, of which I am, I am president and trying to get um, independence for the country. I entirely agree. I think that when nations are, are set for independence and want it, uh, then everything must be done to help them and encourage them and see that they get it. Because after all, if we don't believe in the right of peoples to govern themselves, I don't know what we do believe in. But I think that there are one or two, one or two particular problems that face Africa, and that is the gap between the... Um, the political form of a modern state and the extraordinary degree of technical and economic uh, sophistication which goes into the making of a state. And I think when people talk about independence coming too quickly, they don't mean in any absolute sense that people aren't ready to govern themselves. They do ask, uh, have they got uh, some of these essential, uh, uh, essential skills and equipments to do it well when they've got it? Why did it come so quickly, though? Shouldn't, shouldn't we look into that question for a moment? Because uh, the, the timetable has been condensed, almost catapulted. The, the actual answer is to us. The question ready does not arise. <coughs> if, if, you, if you come into my house and steal my jacket, <coughs> don't then ask me whether I'm ready for my jacket. The jacket was mine, you had no right at all to take it from me. Yes, but it takes and, long... And it, well, it, it may take a long time to go to the high courts and appeal and, and get all this done until I get my jacket back, but you have no right at all to ask me whether I, I was ready for my jacket. True. Uh, the, the mechanism of whether really I, I, I can look right in my, my jacket when I put it on, that this is different. I, I mean, it may not uh, be as... Uh, I mean, I may not look as smart in it as you look in it, but it's mine. This right. is your side of it, and, and is very significant as your side of it. Isn't it also significant, though, that the colonial powers appear to have crossed the big divide uh, for themselves and come to the conclusion that they have to expect African majorities in the countries of Africa now? Isn't that